Give me one second to make sure we're we're actually live. And we are live, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing on this beautiful Wednesday morning? I have episode 186 of Universe Mode here for you. I am your host, the King Chiron, and I am bringing you another episode of Universe Mode, episode 186. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got a stacked SmackDown for you. I've got a great card of SmackDown for you. Let's but let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. Let's let's talk about it. Up first, Bailey and Sasha Banks take on Nikki and Brie Bella for the women's tag titles. I'm gonna start this episode of SmackDown off hot, ladies and gentlemen. A title match to open the show. Then, triple threat tag team match. Caden Carter, Katana Chance, former tag champions, taking on the Outsiders and Damage Control. Big night for Damage Control, basically. Then we've got John Moxley taking on Kenny Omega. Omega wants to get his hands on Brian, but Moxley doesn't think that Omega deserves to even face Brian again. So Mox and Omega, they're going to go one on one. Then, a match that a lot of people have been waiting for, a match that I have been waiting to book, Seth frickin' Rollins taking on Will Ospreay. It's a match we all want to see happen one day. It's a match that we all can't wait if it does happen one day. And I'm going to book it here first, here on SmackDown, and it's only match number four. Then in match number five, we got AJ Styles taking on Brian Danielson. I hope you guys can see that I have made SmackDown the wrestling show, ladies and gentlemen. There, are, it's Universe Mode itself is a wrestling show, but SmackDown is the home of wrestling. SmackDown is the heart and soul of wrestling, and that's what I've made my Universe Mode. You've got great wrestlers going up and great wrestling matches, but that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. I've got one more match for you. A very special match. Sasha Banks cashes in her Money in the Bank briefcase on Becky Lynch. Two weeks out from WrestleMania. Oh, it's a big night for Sasha Banks. It's a huge night for damage control. Sasha Banks could mess around, ladies and gentlemen, and pick up two championships tonight. It'd be a huge moment for Sasha. She's been holding on to that Money in the Bank briefcase for quite a while now. And she's decided to cash in now. If ba- if Bailey and Sasha Banks lose in the opening match against the Bella Twins, Sasha Banks only has to look forward to the main event where she takes on Becky Lynch for the world title. Sasha Banks could mess around and become a double champion right here tonight. But let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not waste any time. I hope you're going to enjoy this episode of SmackDown. It's a stacked card. It's a stacked SmackDown. This SmackDown feels like a WrestleMania all on its own. I want episode 186 to be remembered, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to remember that your host, the King Chiron, has brought you such a great episode of SmackDown ahead of WrestleMania. She was unsuccessful at Elimination Chamber. There were times and moments there where it felt like she was getting really close to getting her hands on that women's world title. But Bailey, not done yet. Bailey has been a huge star this season. I wanted to give Bailey one more opportunity, one more chance to shine here in Universe Mode, here in Season 2. This is Season 2.
Season 2 of Universe Mode, I wanted to give Bailey the opportunity to shine. So I decided to give her and Sasha Banks. They were already in a feud with the Bella Twins, ladies and gentlemen. But I decided that, you know what, their little feud, it should start off really hot. She's got a huge night ahead of her, ladies and gentlemen. A huge night. Sasha Banks, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't stop gushing earlier. She's got a huge night ahead of her. These tag title match right here in the opening of SmackDown and then the main event for the women's world title. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen, your new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. The Bella Twins were born to hold those titles, ladies and gentlemen. They were born to get their hands on the championships. And I'll be honest, ladies and gentlemen, they wear those titles well. They wear the titles well. Twins. The Bella Twins. As women tag team champions. Both women just turned 40. I like to uh, wish them both a very happy birthday here on episode 186 of Universe Mode. This is a huge match, ladies and gentlemen. We cannot, we cannot pretend that this isn't a huge match to open up a SmackDown. Women's tag titles on the line. Bell rings Bailey, and Brie will start it off. Brie with the flurry of punches to Bailey. Will instantly tag in Nikki Bella. Misses a spear and Bailey with a clothesline to Nikki drops her. Tags in Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks on the attack of Nikki Bella drops her to the canvas. Misses a knee. Nikki back to her feet, takes down Sasha, attacks Bailey, but turns her back to Sasha. She will regret that. Sasha instantly draws Nikki, and now on the outside, attacking the back of Nikki Bella, who was taunting and posing. Sasha Banks on the attack using a combination against Nikki, drops her to the floor. Lifts her up. 
and tosses Nikki Bella back into the ring. Nikki Bella gonna make the hot tag to Bree. Sasha back in the ring. But Sasha Banks drops Brie Bella with a DDT. And again dropping Brie Bella. Tags in Bailey. Damage control has never been stronger, ladies and gentlemen. I need to tell you that now. Dakota Kai and Io Sky, former tag team champions. Bailey and Sasha Banks going for the tag titles here. Damage control has never been stronger, and they've been holding on to women's gold all season. Bailey may have failed to pick up the women's championship. Roll up from Bailey right here, but the rest distracted. Bree kicks out at one. It might have been a two count if the ref hadn't been distracted. Roll up by Bree. Kick out at one from Bailey. Bree Bella in control here. Drops Bailey to the canvas. Double tag made. Nikki Bella and Sasha Banks will continue the fight. Sasha Banks kick to the gut. Nails her signature on Nikki Bella. Right in the middle of the ring. And Sasha Banks going to gear up. Looking for the bank statement. As she'll lock it in. Bank statement locked in on Nikki. But Brie Bella there to make the save. But the damage may have already been done to that arm. Nikki Bella still not getting up yet. Sasha Banks drops a knee onto Nikki's head. Tags in Bailey. Oh, but Nikki Bella kicking Bailey away. Bailey fighting back. Nikki blocking on the attack now. But Bailey with the reversal. And a massive lariat takes down Nikki Bella. Tags in Sasha. A great strategy by Bailey and Sasha Banks here. Nikki Bella goes for a roll up on Sasha. But Sasha able to kick out at one. Nikki Bella with kicks to Sasha Banks' head. Sasha Banks back to her feet. Taking over to the corner. But Sasha Banks going to fight back here. Fights out of the corner. And now that slap followed by the combination ends it with a drop kick. Nikki's out of the ring. Sasha turns her attention to Be uh, Bree. But Bree with a counter and off the apron. Sasha Banks goes outside the ring. Attention still very much. On Bree, Bree knocks Sasha off the apron, allowing Nikki to pick up the scraps. Bree Bella now dropping Sasha Banks onto the floor on the outside. Throw Sasha back into the ring. And Nikki gonna taunt on the apron. Gets back into the ring. Bulldog. From Nikki Bella to Sasha Banks. Followed by a kick to the back. Nikki goes for the pin here. But Bailey there to make the save. Nikki Bella has Sasha Banks up. Nails her finish. And goes for the pin. Bailey there to make the save. Sasha Banks with a roll up. On Nikki. Count of two. Nikki Bella was real lucky to get her arm up there. Drops Sasha with a flying clothesline and tags in Bree. Throw Sasha Banks to the corner. But Sasha with a huge elbow to Bree. It's taking Bree over to the corner. Head to the to the turnbuckle pose. Bailey with an assist. And Sasha regains control. But Bree slips out of it. She has Sasha Banks taking her to the ropes. Sasha fighting back here. Throws Bree into the ropes. Bree runs right into Sasha.
I don't know what Brie was going for there, but Sasha with a big counter. Big knee to the face. Has Brie on the ropes. Spikes Brie into the corner. We'll tag in Bailey here. I see the strategy between Bailey and Sasha Banks. Tag in early, tag in often. Keep each other fresh, but it seems Brie and Nikki have that same strategy. Constant tags being made in this match. And Nikki Bella nails Bailey with the signature and goes for the pin. Sasha Banks got there in time to make the save. Nikki misses with a flying clothesline. Gonna follow Sasha. Bailey back to her feet. Lifted up by Nikki and spiked onto that knee. And again. But Bailey with a kick to the head. Gonna attack Brie Bella here. Ah, oh, but Nikki making the save. And Brie with an assist. Drops Bailey. Bailey gonna counter Nikki Bella's attack. And instantly tags in Sasha Banks, getting out of the hot water there. But Brie Bella with Nikki, Nikki Bella with Sasha Banks up, nails the finish and goes for the pin. But Bailey there to stop the ref and stop the pinfall attempt. Sasha Banks kicked in the back. Tags in Brie. Sasha in control, nails a suplex. But Brie, back to her feet quick, takes down Sasha, and it looks like Brie's gonna set up for her finish here. Nails Sasha with it. Sasha Banks in trouble. She's taking a lot of damage in this match. A lot of finishers. Bailey making the save. The tag team champs trying to stay champs against a tough challenge here. Brie on the top rope, telling Sasha to get up. Flying crossbody countered by Sasha. Catches Brie and spikes her down. And Sasha gonna lock in the bank statement on Brie Bella. Nikki Bella getting in the ring, but Brie Bella was able to fight out. Brie Bella taking advantage of Sasha, trying to attack Nikki. Puts a knee to the back of Sasha. Sasha Banks lifted up. Onto the canvas. What's Brie gonna do? Uh, she's going to stretch the head and arms of Sasha Banks. <laughs> Sasha Banks fighting out of whatever Brie was about to attempt. Sasha Banks lifting up Brie and drops her onto her knee. Picks her up again. Takes her to the corner. Spikes the head. Off the turnbuckle. Tags in Bailey. Double team combination coming here. Both women flip and drop Brie Bella right onto her back. And Brie's going to roll out of the ring. Trying to stay out of the fire. Ah, uh, Nikki went for Bailey. Probably lured in. And Bailey drops Nikki off the apron. Nikki Bella stunned and down on the outside. It's Brie against damage control. One on two for now. Brie trying to fight back against Sasha Banks. Ducks one. Hops over another. Oh, and a tossing Sasha Banks. And now the kicks from Brie Bella. Signature hit on Sasha Banks. Banks is taking the most damage in this match. Bailey making the pinfall save. Sasha Banks with a roll up on Brie. But Brie Bella able to kick out at two. But Sasha Banks not done yet. Gonna lock in the bank statement on Brie Bella again. Nikki there to make the save. But that arm of Brie Bella damaged. If another bank statement gets locked in, that could be the match. 
Brie Bella's got to be careful here. Brie Bella being taken to the corner. Head bounced off the corner. Tags in Bailey. Double team maneuver coming here. Double body drop to Brie Bella. And Bailey will pick up Brie. All was going to go for the hug. Belly to Bailey. But Brie Bella countering it. Fighting back. Drops Bailey and tags in Nikki Bella. Veteran maneuvers from Brie Bella. Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot stress what this kind of match is. You are watching two veterans take on two of the hottest stars in their prime. Clothesline from Bailey. And Bailey goes for the pin on Nikki. Match saved by Brie Bella. Nikki dropped to her face. And Sasha Banks tagged in. Brie will Nikki will throw Sasha and Spine Buster onto Sasha Banks. Banks getting back to her feet. Nikki was gonna go to tag out. Sasha got to her first, drops her. Attacking the arm. And Sasha will tag in Bailey. Bailey dodging that attack. But Nikki dodges Bailey's and a big boot from Nikki drops Bailey. Spiking Bailey's head to the canvas. Bailey rolling out of the ring, trying to stay alive here. Both women, the Bella twins off the apron, and Bree throws Bailey back in the ring. Bailey has her attention squarely focused on Bree right now. But Bree with a counter. And another counter to Bailey. And Brie hops off the apron. Bailey grabbing Nikki and spikes her knee onto the floor, tosses her. Tags in Sasha Banks. <laughs> Sasha Banks with a massive clothesline to Nikki Bella, nearly takes her head off, followed by a kick to the gut, stretching the arm of Nikki. Sasha Banks locking up the leg of Nikki Bella. Leg locked up. Brie going to make the save. Sasha Banks flips Brie onto her head. Got a huge knee to Brie Bella. Nikki Bella up in the corner. Brie Bella will be locked in the bank statement again. Sasha Banks picking up Nikki. Roll through. Nikki counters into a cover. A roll up victory. The Bella Twins retain. Here are your winners. And still, WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Nikki and Brie, the Bella Twins. The Bella Twins coming out of this match. I have to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, they kind of survived it. They showed their veteran skill, their veteran ability. But in the end, a roll-up helped them retain. A great match between these competitors. But up next, ladies and gentlemen, we have another tag match, a triple threat tornado tag match. The former tag champions, Kaden Carter, Katana Chance, will take on the Outsiders and Damage Control.
On the way to the ring, Caden Carter and Katana Chance. Former women's tag team champions. Unfortunately for them, they will not hold the titles for a year. Had they made it to WrestleMania, they would have been champions going on an entire year. But there's always opportunities in the future, ladies and gentlemen. There's always chances to get those titles back. Season 3 looks to be a big season for Caden Carter and Katana Chance. As long as they earn the opportunities, they keep winning matches. They will be top of the rankings. They will be number one contenders in no time. But to get that match, to get that number one contendership, to earn that momentum, you got to start here. You got to start here with a big recovery win. These two women look laser focused and the outsiders making their way. Tony Storm, Ruby Soho. Making their way to the ring. The Outsiders have never been so dominant. Their momentum has cooled. We must be honest. We cannot, you know, can't BS it, ladies and gentlemen. We have to be real about it. The momentum has cooled down a little bit. But you just know that at any given opportunity, the Outsiders would love a chance at those tag titles again. They are future tag team champions. I guarantee it. I stand by that. One day, they will walk out with those women's tag titles. But speaking of tag champions, you want to talk about a former tag champion? You want to talk about a future tag champion? You're looking at one. Dakota Kai. She held the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships alongside EO Sky, her damage control partner. She held those titles for a very long time, just about all of season one. Many retains under her belt. You just know that one day Dakota Kai and EO Sky will probably get their hands on those titles again. And speaking of EO Sky, and representing damage control from Tokyo, Japan, EO Sky. This woman has the bright future ahead of her, ladies and gentlemen. Whether she breaks out is up to her but huge wins could mean huge things for EO Sky the genius in the sky is not to be underestimated at any point in time former tag champion future tag champion I stand by that I guarantee it Bell rings as triple threat match is underway. And you got to imagine for Caden Carter, Katana Chance, EO Sky, and Dakota Kai, these women might want to fight more than anyone else in the match. But you also got to imagine the Outsiders and Damage Control. Damage Control has made a lot of enemies. And then at the same time, Ruby Soho, Caden Carter, Katana Chance also. Rivals, this match full of rivalries. Oh, dropped. Katana Chance was dropped by Tony Storm there. Soho attacking EO Sky, takes a knee to her and now drops her with a big boot to the back. 
Ruby Soho drops Dakota Kai. Katana Chance attacking Ruby Soho. Caden Carter with a dive out of the ring on a Tony Storm. Soho taking down Katana Chance. And now Damage Control will turn their attention to the Outsiders. Damage Control. In control of this match here. Tony Storm attacking Io Sky, throws her into the corner. Meanwhile, Soho goes after Kai, so does Katana Chance. Dakota Kai getting jumped here. Now Soho being attacked by Katana Chance. Meanwhile, Tony Storm picking up that steel chair, gonna bash it off the head of EO. EO moves out of the way, blocks the attempt, drops Tony Storm, and now EO Sky with the chair bashes it off the head of Tony Storm. EO Sky dropping Storm to the floor, jumps out of the ring. Now back in the ring. I think Tony, I think EO Sky was gonna go for a top rope maneuver. But Tony Storm got back to her feet too quickly. Katana Chance now in the ring. Katana Chance dropped and oh! Kicked on top of that steel chair. Katana Chance dropping EO Sky. Sky back to her feet. Clotheslines her out of the ring. Ruby Soho will suplex Caden Carter. Katana Chance turns her attention. EO Sky dropping Tony Storm going for a pin. Tony Storm kicks out at one. And now Caden Carter, Katana Chance in the ring, attacking Storm and Sky. Dakota Kai trying to get in the ring. Saber tag partner with Sky fighting out of it. Katana Chance throwing Dakota Kai into the corner. Being attacked now by Soho. Headbutts from Soho to Katana Chance. And EO Sky will take that chair to the back of Caden Carter. But Ruby Soho drops EO. And a suplex to EO Sky to Ruby Soho. Soho turns her attention to Caden Carter, but Carter with the reverse DDT on the Soho. Tony Storm with the chair has to drop it. Caden Carter gonna lock up the legs of Tony Storm here. Oh, did you see that? EO Sky ran from behind Ruby Soho and dropped her with a bulldog to the floor. Soho dropped in the ring by Katana Chance and EO Sky with that kick to Caden Carter's head but Tony Storm with EO Sky up nails a power bomb into a pin Sky kicks out and survives Dakota Kai will attack Tony Storm Ruby Soho kicked out of a pin attempt by Katana Chance Katana Chance dropping Dakota Kai Caden Carter wrapping up EO Sky in the middle of the ring. Caden Carter and Katana Chance pick up a huge victory. Here are your winners. Caden Carter and Katana Chance. Nothing feels better than beating two of your biggest rivals. Well, actually, I correct. I stand corrected. Beating four of your biggest rivals has to feel great. For Caden Carter and Katana Chance, big momentum, a big recovery win. But ladies and gentlemen, we move on. It is Kenny Omega and John Moxley one-on-one. -on -one. John Moxley feels that Kenny Omega doesn't deserve another shot at fighting Brian Danielson. So John Moxley will step in himself. Oh, and Moxley taking out the referee. I think Omega wanted a handshake. Moxley said absolutely not. Kenny Omega has made himself a target of the Blackpool Combat Club. And if you're going to be a target, you're going to face quite a few members. Omega just wanted to prove that he could beat Brian Danielson. He couldn't he couldn't do it. He couldn't get it done. And now Moxley will prove that he 
doesn't belong in the same ring with any member of the Blackpool Combat Club. Omega dropped by a bulldog from Moxley. But Moxley misses the drop kick, giving Omega a chance to recover here. And Omega will drop Moxley with a drop kick. Omega lifting up Moxley's arms, butterfly. Oh, pile driver. Omega on the ropes, dives out of the ring, but misses Moxley. Moxley moved out of the way. Omega lifting up Moxley here. Oh, but Moxley going to fight out of it. Moxley attacking Kenny Omega, throws Omega back into the ring, gets into the ring himself. Drops Omega onto his head, goes for the pin. But Omega will kick out at one. Moxley with knees to the chest of Omega and now to the head. Moxley will sweep the feet and pound away on Moxley's on Omega's head. Big boot to the head. Followed by a drop kick to the head. Ladies and gentlemen, this time last season, Kenny Omega went into WrestleMania WWE Champion. But this time, Omega, he's in desperation. He's just looking to prove himself, looking to prove he can get a big win here. Omega dropping Moxley onto his head. And let's not forget where Moxley was last season. Last season, this time, Moxley was beating the crap out of Cactus Jack. Elbow drop to the chest of Moxley. Moxley makes it back to his feet, but Omega with a kick to the gut. Lifts him up, powerbomb position, nails the powerbomb onto Moxley. Omega fighting Moxley, going all out here. Omega's not wasting any time, any momentum. Kenny Omega needs to get some big wins under his belt if he ever wants to challenge for the world title again. If he ever wants to challenge for the Intercontinental title. Oh, Moxie with a huge forearm to the head of Omega. Omega throws Moxie to the ropes. Moxie runs right into Omega. Omega with a kick to the gut. Lifts up Moxie and slams him down. Huge suplex takes down Moxie. And a big knee to the chin of Moxie from Omega. Omega lifting up Moxie here. Gonna put Moxley in the electric chair position, but Moxley fighting out of it. You got to imagine that Danielson warned Moxley about the electric chair attack. But no one's there to warn Omega about the paradigm shift. Goes for the pin. But Omega able to kick out at two. Moxley now. Sets up for his patented pile driver. Will spike Kenny Omega's head to the canvas. Maxi wasn't wasting any time. He went for another paradigm shift, but Omega blocked it this time. Rolling sent on to John Moxley, followed by a standing moose off of Moxley gets the legs up. Drop kick misses. And Omega will kick the back of Moxley. Goes for another standing moose off, but Moxley gets the legs up again. Followed by a drop kick. Omega trying to take out the leg of Moxie. Moxie reverses it. And a massive lariat to a Omega trying to get back to his feet. Stomps on the knee of Kenny Omega. Omega has to roll out of the ring. Moxley telling Omega to get up. Moxie going for the dive through the ropes. Misses. Omega gets out of the way. Throws Moxie back into the ring. Kenny Omega telling Moxie to get up. Huge forearm blocked by Omega. Omega lifting the legs. Lifts up Moxley. Suplexes him down. Omega's got an electric chair waiting for Moxley. And I think Omega's going to go for it here. Going to hit Moxley with that electric chair. Take out Moxley. Goes for the pin. Moxley survives, kicks out at two. Omega 
Missed an elbow drop and Moxie with another massive lariat to Omega. Followed by a massive elbow to the chest. And another elbow but he missed this time. Omega with a huge knee to the chin of Moxley. And Omega will choke out Moxley middle of the ring. Omega drops another huge elbow onto Moxley. Omega with the boot to the throat of Moxley. Just misses a stomp. Moxley misses a clothesline, but doesn't miss an elbow to the head. Moxley throwing Omega to the ropes, drops him with a lariat, goes for the pin. Omega survives, kicks out at two. Moxley with another big elbow to the chest of Omega. And Moxie's gonna set up for the paradigm shift one more time. But Kenny Omega blocks it again. Throws Moxie to the ropes, misses with a big boot. Lifted up and dropped onto his back, and Omega picking up Moxley. Wraps up the arms. I think he's going for another butterfly pile driver in the middle of the ring. Goes for the pin after the butterfly pile driver. But Omega, he can't believe it. Moxie kicked out again. But Omega's got something for Moxie. If Omega can just hit the electric chair on Moxie, that could put this match to bed. Nails it. Center of the ring goes for the pin. Omega with a huge victory on John Moxley. There's got to be a little catharsis in that victory for Omega. A big win. The Blackpool Combat Club won't be happy about this. They might want to make Omega pay. But right now, Danielson's got bigger fish to fry, ladies and gentlemen. A great match from Oma from <laughs> oh Moxley. <laughs> Who the hell is Omoxley? A great match between Kenny Omega and John Moxley, ladies and gentlemen. But up next, a match that we've all been waiting for. Seth frickin' Rollins. Will frickin' Osprey. One on one. Here on SmackDown. These two men have exchanged words on Twitter. Questions of who's the greatest wrestler in the world have come into question. Will it be Will Ospreay or Seth Rollins? And Ospreay takes down Rollins early. Lifts Rollins up. Delivers a German suplex. Wraps, my, wraps himself around. Seth Rollins takes the arm, but Rollins fights out of it. But he's going to do it again, taking the arm of Rollins, arm bar. Rollins rolls out again. Rollins will throw Osprey into the corner. Osprey gets an elbow to Rollins' head. Rollins trying to take control of Osprey. Osprey going to fight out of it. Kick to Rollins' leg. Osprey off the ropes. Head scissors. Spins him. Drops him. Goes for the pin. But Rollins able to kick out at one. Get ready for a fight, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Osprey with a drop kick to the head of Seth Rollins. And a stomp to the arm. Osprey misses an elbow drop. Rollins now in control. Takes an elbow to the knee. Rollins is going to work over the legs of Osprey here. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a feeling this is going to be a wrestling clinic, a wrestling match worth watching. Rollins taking out the legs of Osprey, trying to keep Osprey down. Rip cord knee to Will Osprey and goes for the pin. But Osprey kicking out at one. 
elbow to the head of Will Osprey. Osprey down. Osprey in neckbreaker position, but Rollins puts an elbow to the back of the head instead. Attack blocks. Osprey in control hits him with a clothesline and another one. Rollins boot caught. Osprey slips the leg. Rollins back to his feet, but hit with a code breaker from Will Osprey. Osprey will throw Rollins into the corner. Lifts Rollins up. Takes Rollins down with that huge signature off the top rope. Osprey has his finish loaded. Nails Rollins with it. Goes for the pin, middle of the ring. But Rollins able to kick out at two. Osprey not wasting any time. He goes to the top rope. Body splash misses. Rollins will take advantage. Elbow to the head of Osprey. Rollins off the ropes. Nails a huge knee to the head of Will Osprey. Osprey makes it back to his feet. He's trying to take control of those Rollins to the ropes. Ducks one. Flips him. Drops him onto a knee. Rollins rolls out of the ring and Osprey getting pumped up. He's pumping the crowd up here. Going for a dive. Osprey on the rope. Takes down Rollins. Osprey misses. Rollins with a kick to Osprey now. Kicking the arm. Rollins targeting the limbs of Will Osprey. Kick to the gut. But Osprey throwing Rollins back into the ring. Osprey jumps over the ropes. Sling blade from Osprey into a drop kick. Goes for the pin, middle of the ring on Rollins. Rollins able to kick out at two. Drop kick and body splash miss. Rollins throwing Osprey into the ropes. Misses a clothesline. Osprey with a drop kick to Rollins. Takes Rollins down. Lifts up Osprey. Takes him to the corner. Slams his back into the turnbuckle. Throws him to the canvas. Oh, and another ripcord knee. Picks up Osprey. Takes him to the ropes. Rollins throwing Osprey out of the ring. Rollins going to sit up for a dive now. Off the ropes. Drop kick through the ropes. Takes down Osprey. Rollins misses a boot. Misses the kick. But Osprey with a body takedown of Rollins. Misses a drop kick. Rollins in control. Elbow to the head. Flips over Osprey. Puts an elbow into Osprey's knee. Osprey's almost stunned here. Rollins with the leg again. And Will Osprey is stunned. Rollins with a knee to the face of Will Osprey. Standing moonsault onto the floor. Rollins will pick up Osprey. Gonna deliver a combination here. Drops Osprey onto his head. Rollins throwing Osprey back in the ring. Referee at the count of seven. Rollins gets back in. Goes for a pin after that attack. The vicious combination to Osprey, but Osprey stays alive. Kicks out at two. Rollins just can't believe it after all of that. Osprey still up. Throws Rollins to the corner. Huge elbow to the chest of Rollins. Lifts Rollins up. Huge power bomb out of the corner. Will Osprey setting something up here. Rollins getting back to his feet. Osprey with a drop kick to the back of Rollins. Kick to Rollins' gut. And Rollins dropped into a pin position. But Rollins gets the shoulder up at two. Osprey attacking the leg of Rollins now. Osprey going to the middle rope. 
Off the top rope, misses a move, so Rollins got to his feet. Rollins and Osprey fighting for control. Osprey nails his finish on Rollins, goes for the pin. And Osprey with a huge victory on Seth Rollins. Here is your winner, the Assassin Will. Will Osprey hit his finish from out of nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. Rollins couldn't believe it. A surprising end to the match, but not an unwelcome one. This was a good match, ladies and gentlemen. Very good between these two competitors. Ladies and gentlemen, during John Moxley and Kenny Omega's match, I said Brian Danielson had bigger fish to fry. What is a bigger fish than AJ Styles, the phenomenal one? The phenomenal one, the Intercontinental Champion, AJ Styles. He beat John Moxie for the title. You get the feeling that Moxley is not done with AJ yet. But right now, Moxley worried about Kenny Omega. So who's worried about the Intercontinental Championship? Who's worried about AJ Styles? AJ Styles, I was saying earlier, who's worried about AJ? Who's worried about the IC title in the Blackpool Combat Club? His name is Brian Danielson. Danielson wants to get that title back into the Blackpool Combat Club. And Danielson will handle matters personally. If there's anyone who you can believe will take on AJ Styles, have a great match, and come out the victor. It is Brian Danielson himself. And his opponent from Aberdeen, Washington, weighing in at 210 pounds, Brian Danielson. Brian Danielson, a top tier superstar. <laughs> I need to stop saying that. I say that about everybody. But Brian Danielson, a former world heavyweight champion, a former United States champion. The only titles that Danielson has not won in universe mode are the Intercontinental and Tag Team titles. But he doesn't need to worry about the tag titles. Those are currently being held by team members Wheeler Yuta and Claudio Castagnoli. And the IC title is now in Danielson's sights. Bell rings, match starts. AJ Styles goes for Danielson, takes Danielson down in the corner. Styles with a powerbomb into a pin. But Styles rolls out of it, takes the leg. No, never mind. He's grabbing the body of Danielson, lifts him up, spikes him to the ground. AJ Styles now letting Danielson get a chance. AJ Styles knows the ferocity of the war of Brian Danielson. AJ Styles on the attack of Danielson here. Keeping Danielson down, not letting Danielson get into this match at all. Suplex incoming. But Danielson slips out of it. And chop blocks the leg, finally getting a little offense in this match. Misses a drop kick. 
And Styles gonna take advantage. Chop to the chest. Throws Danielson to the ropes. Ducks one. Slides through. Suplex on the Danielson. And a huge kick to the face. End to the chest. Followed by a Pele kick. Styles going for a pin on Danielson here, but Danielson kicking out at one. Danielson rolls out. Danielson flipping AJ. Drop kick to the head. Styles back to his feet. More kicks to Danielson. Flips Danielson onto his back with a suplex. And Danielson's got to roll out of the ring. But Styles is telling him to get up. Danielson, I think, made it back to his feet too quickly. Styles with a shot block taking out the knee of Danielson. And a flying forearm to Danielson takes him down. Kicking the head of Danielson. Styles will go out of the ring. Telling Danielson to get back to his feet. Styles, phenomenal forearm misses. AJ Styles wanted to put this match away early. But Danielson now going to lock up the arm of AJ Styles in this submission. Styles immediately kicks out of the submission hold. And will take his attack back to Danielson. AJ Styles fighting like a bat out of hell. Off the ropes, misses the 450. Throws Danielson into the corner. AJ Styles, he's probably mad that he's been barely getting opportunities in seasons. He's going to take his opportunities now. He's not going to wait for his chances. Styles is one of the best wrestlers in the world, and he wants to show everyone that firsthand. Beating Danielson in a convincing fashion would absolutely go a long way to prove that AJ Styles is one of the best wrestlers of all time. Drops Danielson onto his head and neck. Danielson misses a forearm. Styles throwing Danielson down by the ape, down by the barricade. Referee counting up to four now. And Danielson down. Count of five. Danielson makes it back into the ring. Kick to Styles' gut. Danielson carrying Styles over to the ropes. Hangs him up. Powerbomb position. Bounces him off the ropes and tosses him down onto the canvas. Grabs his arm. Kicks to the rib cage and now to the head. Danielson going to lock up that arm, grab the other arm, going to twist the wrist of AJ Styles. Knees to the back of AJ. And a huge kick to the head. Brian Danielson finally got an opportunity. Styles taking it away, kick to the gut, throws Brian into the ropes, drop kick. Danielson rolls out of the ring, Styles telling Danielson to get up. Styles goes for a dive, takes down Brian Danielson. Picks up Danielson. Danielson sweeping the leg, drops Styles. Lifting Styles up, suplex position, takes him down with a suplex. Danielson has to be careful here. It's pretty obvious that AJ Styles has done his homework when it comes to the Blackpool Combat Club. That AJ Styles has done his homework. When it comes to Brian Danielson. Danielson rolls out of the ring. But AJ on the attack. Lifts up Danielson. But Danielson slips out of it. Danielson with a chop block to the leg of Styles. Lifting up Styles. German suplex. Chop to the chest and now kicks. But Style Danielson misses with a draw kick. Styles reversed it. Styles thrown into the barricade. Danielson will ricochet him back into the barricade again. And Danielson with massive punches to the head of Styles. Danielson throwing Styles into the barricade again. Referee at the count of seven. And Danielson will make it back into the ring. Count of eight. 
Danielson taunting Styles tells him to come get some. Styles comes and gets some, drops Danielson with a huge kick to the head and dropping Danielson onto his back. Danielson makes it back to his feet but Styles with a DDT to Danielson takes him down and Styles gonna call for the Styles Clash one more time. Phenomenal forearm to the head of Danielson. Danielson busts it open. Styles going for the pin here. But Danielson able to kick out at two. It is not often that we see Brian Danielson fight from behind, ladies and gentlemen. Danielson it's reversing whatever Styles was gonna do. Styles blocking whatever Danielson was gonna do. Takes Danielson down with a flying forearm. Danielson and Styles both have a finisher loaded up. I think it's gonna come down to who hits theirs first, ladies and gentlemen. Danielson kick to the gut. Lift Styles up, powerbomb position. Ah, oh, but Styles with another huge punch to Danielson's gut. Throws Danielson to the ropes. Flips him and takes him down. Rolls him over. Goes for the pin. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen. Center of the ring. Styles gets a huge victory after basically beating down Brian Danielson. Styles really didn't let Danielson get into this match. This is a bad night for Blackpool Combat Club and it will end with its leader being attacked by Styles. If Brian Danielson wants to win the Intercontinental Championship, bring the Intercontinental Championship back to the Blackpool Combat Club, he's going to have to do better than that. But up next, ladies and gentlemen, it's your main event. Sasha Banks cashing in her Money in the Bank briefcase on Becky Lynch. Everyone else has had their chance, has had their turn. Sasha Banks wants hers. Sasha Banks, she came out earlier in the night and tried to win the women's tag titles. Miss Money in the Bank is finally cashing in here on SmackDown. Sasha Banks finally ready to cash in. She cashes in in a match. Hands in the briefcase. Briefcase raised in the air. Money in the bank has now been cashed in. The match is official. It will begin. And here she comes, ladies and gentlemen, the women's world champion, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch finally facing Sasha Banks. Becky has been champion this entire season, ladies and gentlemen. Sasha Banks has been Miss Money in the Bank for 
basically all this season, ladies and gentlemen. And now they finally clash. Now they finally come together for the women's world title. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Will Becky Lynch retain this close to WrestleMania? Or will Sasha Banks do what seems nearly impossible? If Becky Lynch comes out of this match, she will have faced just about everyone on both rosters for that women's world title. The only two remain would be Charlotte and Asuka, who Becky Lynch will face at Mania. But Sasha Banks... Looks to make that triple threat a fiddle four-way. Sasha Banks will attack Becky Lynch first. Lifts Becky up and drops her onto the canvas. Puts a knee into Becky's back. Sasha Banks. Becky blocks Sasha Banks' attack. Banks. Becky Lynch on the attack of Sasha. Drops Sasha with a cloak with a suplex and goes for the pin. But Sasha Banks kicks out at two. Huge stomp to Sasha's head. And a huge knee to Sasha's face. But Sasha Banks not done yet. Throws Becky Lynch into the corner. Huge uppercut. Throws Becky away. Nails her in the back. And Becky Lynch locked into a submission. Middle of the ring. Can't reach the ropes. Becky's going to fight out of it. And Sasha Banks' head in the yellow. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, Sasha Banks pulling double duty tonight. You got to imagine that Sasha Banks' original plan was to walk out of tonight a double champion. Becky Lynch will wrap up the legs of Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks is in trouble. Becky Lynch picking up a well of momentum will lock the legs up again. Becky Lynch targeting the legs of Sasha Banks here. But Sasha Banks fighting back. Misses an attack. And Becky Lynch sweeping the leg will lock in. STF on Sasha. Sasha Banks middle of the ring. She's going to fight out of it. Sasha Banks throws Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch counters. Flips Sasha. An elbow to the shoulder of Sasha Banks. Sasha back to her feet. But the disarm her locked in on Sasha. Sasha Banks slips out, pushes Becky away. And a huge drop kick to Becky Lynch. Followed by a kick to the head. Elbow to the head of Becky Lynch. Followed by a huge stomp to the face. Becky will grab the leg and flip Sasha. Kick to the arm. Becky Lynch being lifted up by Sasha. Blocks an attack. Slap to the face. Was going for manhandle slam but blocked by Sasha Banks. Banks flipping Sa Becky to the ground. Ah, oh, but Sa Bank Becky... Taking the leg out of Banks. Goes to the top rope. Becky Lynch telling Sasha Banks to get up. Drops an elbow to the forehead of Sasha. Off the ropes. Misses with the leg drop. And Sasha will take Becky down with the flying arm. Takes Becky down again with the clothesline. Attacking the head of Becky. And again... Picks up Becky Lynch. Lifts her up. No, Becky rolls through. Pinfall. Sasha Banks needs to be careful. She lost her match earlier by being rolled up. A huge clothesline to Becky Lynch. And Becky slips out of the ring. Becky kicking Sasha Banks who went out to get her. Lifts Sasha Banks up. Powerbomb position. Powerbomb onto the apron. 
Oh, and again, attacking the leg of Sasha. Leg drop from Becky to Sasha Banks, followed by a huge elbow. Becky Lynch lifts Sasha Banks up, throws Sasha Banks back into the ring, climbs in herself. Becky Lynch has a manhandle slam loaded. Rolls Sasha through, lifts her up, powerbomb position, drops Sasha, Sasha back to her feet, misses an elbow. Becky Lynch will grab the head, DDT, reverse DDT to Sasha. Sasha has to roll out of the ring. Becky Lynch telling Sasha Banks to get back to her feet. Dive through the ropes, but Sasha moves out of the way. Stomp to the head of Becky Lynch. Knee to the head of Becky Lynch now. And another stomp to the head of Lynch. Stomp to the back. And Sasha will lock in an arm bar on Becky Lynch outside the ring. Becky Lynch fighting out of it. Huge punches to the face. Referee at the count of four. Becky Lynch throws Banks back into the ring. Oh my God! Becky ran right in to the bank statement, but Becky was in the ropes. Kick to the head. Oh, disarm her. Locked in. Banks near the ropes, but she's not close enough. Sasha Banks locked in still, but Sasha Banks will fight out of to disarm her. Sasha lifting Becky up, slams her, suplex, goes for the pin. Becky able to kick out at two. Sasha setting up something here. I think bank statement. And she locks it in on Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch has to fight out of it. Sasha Banks needs to be careful here. Becky's got two finishers loaded. Sasha Banks drops Becky. Becky Lynch is in trouble. Sasha Banks isn't letting up here. But Becky Lynch has fought from behind before. We've seen Becky come back from worse positions. Sasha Banks grabbing the arms of Becky Lynch. Drives her to the canvas. Sasha Banks stuns Becky Lynch. Kick to the arm. Sasha Banks attacking the body of Becky Lynch, attacking the arm, trying to weaken that arm. Misses a kick. Becky with a kick to the gut. Becky rolls her through. Lifts her up. Power bomb. Nails on Sasha Banks. And Becky Lynch throwing Sasha Banks back into the ring. Becky Lynch will get in. Becky Lynch goes to the top rope. Telling Sasha to get back to her feet. Huge elbow drop from the top rope. Going to the pin on Sasha. This has got to be it, ladies and gentlemen. No! Sasha kicks out at two. Becky Lynch picks up Sasha Banks. Nails her. In the back now. Manhandle slam. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Match is over. Good effort from Sasha Banks. No! Sasha kicks out again. Becky getting frustrated, but Becky has two finishers, where Sasha has one. Becky Lynch sets up for Manhandle Slam one more time. If Be if Sasha can block this, Sasha can survive. Sasha blocks it! Huge elbow to the head of Becky! Sasha Banks has two finishers now. She's going to lock in. Bank statement on Becky Lynch, middle of the ring. Oh my god! Sasha Banks makes Becky Lynch tap out. Ladies and gentlemen. Here is your winner. And new WWE Women's World Champion, The Boss. 
Becky Lynch. She has beaten everyone. She beat everyone on the rosters. She walked through everybody. She had the main event of WrestleMania. A triple threat between Asuka and Charlotte. And she couldn't do it. She couldn't hang on any longer. Sasha Banks is your new women's world champion. Sasha Banks may not have won the women's tag titles, but she wins probably the biggest championship of her career. Sasha Banks is your new women's world heavyweight champion. And ladies and gentlemen, with that huge victory, that huge moment, that will do for episode 186 of Universe Mode. An absolute episode to watch. We had great wrestling on the show. I give this episode easily a 4 out of 5. But what do you say, ladies and gentlemen? What would you rate this episode of Universe Mode? But ladies and gentlemen, I have been your host, the King Chiron. I appreciate you for watching this video. I love you for it. If you enjoy this content, remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell, tell your friends. But ladies and gentlemen, right now we have reason to celebrate a new women's world champion, Sasha Banks. Ladies and gentlemen, that will be it for me for, for now. I will see you all later. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Take care.